Hello everyone, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutsarat and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, uh, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, February 11th to February 17th, uh, 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards once again, uh, I want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius uh, star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different uh, Sagittarius. And also, um, I want to tell you that uh, I have made my uh, prices more accessible for the month of uh, February, to especially to the people that are having financial difficulties. So simply said, I have slashed the prices significant considerably uh, for the month of February so until if until this very moment uh, you wanted to have a reading with me but you couldn't afford it now uh, you can have a look if you wish uh, to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and who knows maybe you are gonna find uh, my new pricings um, attractive or affordable or you name it so anyway <clears throat> That set aside, going to the tarot reading first, and the first card that we do have for Sagittarius, this is going to be the Tree of uh, Wands. Followed by the second card here, uh, the first card does expresses the um, topic of the week for you, Sagittarius. The second card here, it is a, about the negative approach toward the situation or what you should not do regarding the first card, and that is the Temperance third card which we do have oh look at that we do have a winner for what it seems all right so third one which is the positive approach toward the situation or what you should do regarding the uh, tree of uh, wands that is to be the ace of wands and the last one that we do have um this is going to be the tree of cups which is the positive outcome or the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance that tarot gives you and capitalize on the topic accordingly to the cards and we have the three of cups all right so uh first thing we do have double trees here uh in this uh, reading and uh all in all uh, when we do have double trees that means that you are going to attract positive people in generally uh in your environment and in your life but as well with the tree it's uh, very important that you learn how to say no okay whenever you don't find any proposition attractive and whatever um, you kind of don't want to um, invest into something you learn you need to learn how to say no well which uh, on a second glance of those cards it has a a, a huge expression here into the reading um, and just from the uh, overlook i uh, it does look like as a um, a week of growth for you a week where you are going to first let's say uh consolidify your current achievements and from there a new doors are going to be opened for you for a further growing into that direction very well displayed here with the tree of wands which uh, says exactly that now let me explain you the cards we do have a man who is looking for new shores to conquer uh, it is considered that this man already conquered the land that he is standing on and therefore holding the wand of power and having two more ones at his disposal he is looking forward to a a new conquest a new shores to conquer just like i said so that being said uh throughout this week sagittarius is, it is very likely that you are going to find yourself on a very solid pattern sort of very um reliable foundation but first thing that you need to do is as i said solidify your current achievements and after that after you do that a new doors for conquest are to be open to you now these doors of conquest will present challenges to you so <clears throat> this week is not going to be a week where you grow by um developing your current projects but this is 
growing by you placing new challenges, finding new projects, finding new people, you know, and in generally seeking for a new shores for yourself to conquer. Important thing with the Tree of Wands is that you have to invest, contribute or start conquering this kind of um, undertaking which completely completely aligns itself with your expectations. So simply said, if you don't like something or what are going to be presumably the benefits from it, you should not feel yourself obliged to contribute into it, <clears throat> regardless of what the people around you are going to think of you. So that is the, <clears throat> the negative shade that the Tree of Wands could incorporate for you, Sagittarius, for throughout this week, February 11th to February 17th. But in generally, very, very positive card. It means, guys, in the grand scheme of things, that the, that the results are going to justify not just your efforts, but as well your expectations. And from there, you know, <clears throat> It will depend on you how big challenges are gonna play you are going to place um, in front of yourself. Um, <clears throat> the sentence I can say about that card is that uh, one is big, just as big as there uh, as one's dreams are. So it is time for you, Sagittarius, to dream big and to place in front of yourself high goals, high aims, and uh, to devote yourself into a, a higher purpose. The additional card here, uh, that will be the lovers, and we do have active friends. So the lovers is another confirmation that you are to experience huge harmony into your, um, into your environment. Further solidifying your achievements, you are to resolve a lot of issues that are lingering until this week. Uh, issues into your relationship, issues into your career. And if we go with full generic interpretation of these cards, well, that speaks for love that you are likely to find, love which will completely um, justify, like I said, your expectations, which simply it will be the love that you have waited for for so long uh, now. But it will require for you to jump into the challenge. It is going to be a challenging endeavor, okay? It's not going to be placed to you or, um, yeah, kind of like... Um, given to you on a plaza you gotta fight for it and you gotta work for it if it is love okay but it does look like in such a way or the very least a, a very very good partnership and one more thing that i can say with these cards here guys is that uh whatever decision you have to make or you will find yourself making throughout this week it definitely have to be the decision you uh the the path that you want to go for not the one that seemingly you have to go for but the one that you want that you wanna go for okay so no uh, compromises with one's agenda and with one's um wish and desire to proceed forward with one's goals. So this was the first couple of cards. And as we can see, that is going to be very, very productive week for Sagittarius. It does look like that they're gonna have what they want, uh, but also they will have to think of how they can proceed on forth and even acquire better things, you know, better benefits and in generally greater rewards. So that leads us to the second card here, which expresses up the negative approach toward the situation. And we have the temperance. Okay, so uh, temperance, first of all, temperance does point that uh, you should not uh, go by by the cumulative opinion of what one should do and how one should do it. As a matter of fact, the temperance here urges you to make to take on drastic measures, all right, to take on really extreme measures. And those extreme measures has to be taken uh, um, regarding, uh, you know, uh, your goal, just like I said, I mean, drastically improving your expectations and your goal with this card. No compromise whatsoever should be allowed throughout the week, especially if that compromise concerns your lifestyle and concerns your points of view. You need to know that the points of view of others which are around you isn't a mandatory. It's not something that... Um, 
definitely is gonna work for you, okay? It may work for them, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. And one more thing that the temperance here shows is that if <clears throat> this uh, endeavor of yours, that challenge also involves other people, kind of like people that you work with, and they are also involved into this challenge, uh, if these people cannot keep up with you, basically they have no place around you. So you should not be hesitant, you know, to simply let go of those who are holding you back. And that's why I said here uh, at the start of the reading with the double trees that you need to learn to say no and to detach from people. Okay. Uh, your solidarity, uh, it's something that could hold you down throughout this week. This is what at least this card is, is saying. And also, don't try to convince anybody in your righteousness. You don't need to. I mean, you shouldn't feel obliged to do so. It should be just enough that you are finding one enterprise or one um, agenda productive for you to move on into that direction instead of constantly trying to prove your point and to justify your, uh, your actions. The accompanied card here, uh, <clears throat> that is going to be uh, the Hierophant. And uh, we do have active neutrals. And uh, basically with the Hierophant card, the shaded Hierophant card here uh, adds is that uh, the points of where you have to separate and uh, differentiate what is going to hold you back and uh, what is not going to hold you back or uh, what actions needs to be incorporated even if they seem extreme have came around okay and um, simply said uh, it will basically well how can i explain it you need to uh, in order for you to approach correctly the situation here from a, a socializing standpoint, you know, regarding the people around you, it will be best if you are open with them, if you talk openly with them about, uh, for example, if they are uh, holding you back, if they are delayed, you know, if they cannot keep up and so on and so forth. And uh, once again, this card here points that you do have your beliefs, okay? You know what you believe in. And uh, you should not allow anybody to persuade you otherwise, because that is severely going to deviate you from this uh, solid patterns and uh, very uh, reliable foundation that you are uh, stepping on, entering into this week, and from there furthering one's growth by placing challenges in front of yourself. And... Uh, Speaking of that, we are going to the next card, which is the Ace of Wands, and that is the appropriate approach to all the situation. So what the Ace of Wands is really, guys, that is the new beginning. So, uh, and in this case, as a uh, guidance card or as a conditional card, it asks you to contribute only into those enterprises which you find profitable. It may sound selfish, but at the end of the day, uh, if you don't take care for your own happiness and for your own growth, no one else really will. So basically, it is time to stop working for free. This is what I'm trying to say here. And uh, <clears throat> once again, jump and contribute only into those uh, enterprises and endeavors that you are finding attractive, that you are finding enthusiastic and beneficial as well, like... Uh, you know, lucrative, for example, or lovely, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Just so, uh, what, my, what my point here, Sagittarius, is, is that you shouldn't contribute contribute into something just to just to uh, maintain your good presence in front of people or maintain their uh, their good opinion for you. You don't. Uh, the point with these cards is that you don't you don't need their good opinion. I mean, you you are about to go to new shores, to new um, to new conquests, and for these conquests, the opinion of others is irrelevant. Those who are to support you, great. Those who doesn't want to support you, at least they should not kind of like create obstacles for you. 
and uh, with the ace of wands uh, also uh, it is very likely that you can capital utilize excuse me on some slumber talents of your behalf so it is very likely that you may discover that you're good at something that you previously had no idea that you can do it at all and that's why you gotta be open for everything new, for uh, for these new challenges that that are coming around. Because one can improve slumber talents, or one can discover that they are good at something only if they try something that they think that they are not good at. And that is the pure definition of challenge. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> lastly, uh, you should not be uh, with uh, this card. You should not be afraid. Um, throughout this week to experiment as well and in generally to um, involve yourself into a creative chaos like trying one thing and if it isn't working out trying a, a different one and so on and so forth because that way it is how you un are to uncover your uh, talents and uh, as well to a certain extent you are going to expand your capabilities and your limits as well so uh, the accompanied card to the ace of wands uh, this is going to be the eight of cups and uh, we do have active enemies here so basically what uh, what these new enterprises here are just promising much much better perspective than the perspective you had before you actually placed and take taken on the challenges that are promising you growth lucrivity and exhilaration as well glee okay but once again you should not kind of like drive yourself according to the other's opinion of what you should do but just following your ideas and um, as well your urges for example uh just just to make my point here guys um your mother tells you that you shouldn't study engineering but instead you should study uh, a medicine okay um, but you are good in math, you like math, you like to know how things work and you like to build things. So that being said, you shouldn't sway yourself with your mother's opinion, but instead you should go with your original idea and place the challenge in front of yourself to develop this uh, slumbered skills, uh, slumbered skill, excuse me, of your behalf and indulge yourself with the beneficial enterprises which you find attractive and which you find inspiring as well. So long story short, something that you don't like to do, you should not contribute to it at all. Uh, and lastly, what we do have for you, this is going to be the Tree of Cups, which is the uh, ending of the cycle that promises you growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot. And uh, the very generic meaning of these cards as a follow-up to the previous one is that uh, the at the very end of the of the week you will start seeing how your efforts are start manifesting results. Maybe those results are not going to be uh, ready to be consumed, okay? But they are to be in the presence now. I mean, the situations are going to start unfolding for you. Additionally, that will attract as well many positive people. So it's kind of like we're also having a, a swapping of negatively... Uh, uh, what, what was the word here? Well, people who are... Um, are having negative attitude toward your new goals with a people that are having positive attitude toward your new goals is this going to be a physical uh cooperation unlikely so they they will not really going to help you physically with your endeavors but these people are going to be very good friends of yours and as well uh, you can share ideas that is very important as well because through sharing ideas with one another one is to expand one's visions as well so from their ideas you don't have to take it uh, literally okay but from it you can extract a, a very positive a hunch or rather like a, a very positive hint that you can incorporate in some different ideas of yours and um, simply with these people that are to form around you at the end of this uh, of this week uh, they will admire you but this admiration is will have nothing to do with greed and with jealousy because sometimes or well most of the times people who you admire you are also rather jealous kind of like 
yeah, you, you want to be at their shoes. While instead of these people being jealous at you, they are going to be happy for you, okay? And for that reason, you Sagittarius will be able to say to them or to share with them basically uh, the burdens that you are carrying deep down within yourself. For example, if your relationship isn't going on very well, it's not going to be a problem for you to share uh, that and why, because they will not going to be judgmental at all. You know, the very, le uh, the very best what they can do is give you an advice that, as I said, you can incorporate into your generic idea of how to improve your relationship and so on and so forth. And, uh, this card could also be associated with engagement, which is a challenge on its own accord. So sitting and consolidating on an already established patterns, it could mean a, a relationship that it is quite deep, okay? And now provoking the growth with a, a challenge, challenging yourself to propose marriage, to propose engagement, and so on and so forth. That is the practical meaning of the follow-up of these cards, which is to, as I said, provoke a, a new perspective in your life and definitely is going to make you aware of, um, you know, how good you can be into a, an, an endeavors, for example, living together uh, that you had no idea before. And the accompanied card that is going to be uh, the Knight of Cups. So one from these people is going to really stand out. And uh, somewhat is going to be an example for you. Example for hard work, devotion and as well control. Because the Knight of Cups, it's, uh, it's a person who never leave things to uh, be resolved by a chance. But Knight of Cups always put the hard work behind. Additionally, strengthens the statement here before that you are to uncover um, unexplored talents of yours with, uh, with this, and these people actually is going to contribute further to you uncovering those talents. And uh, finally, basically, that person, it's, um, it could show an, an emotional attraction to you as well. So um, in the most... Um, manifestational way so if everything of that what i said manifests for you that could be a a partnership that you are going to work with someone together and you are going to love each other as well hopefully a romantic love so uh, that being said guys um this was your weekly tarot reading for february 11th to february 17 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh once again <clears throat> For the month of February, uh, the prices of all of my services have been severely reduced. So to make myself uh, accessible to those who really need guidance and they are finding themselves into a uh, dead end situations, you know. And uh, yeah, so if before you try attempted to have a reading with me, but you find it you found it very fat for your budget. Uh, have a look now at my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and maybe you're going to find these prices attractive. So, uh, Rat signing out now, guys. See you around. Bye.